What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. If you haven't been by Studio1Tutorials.com, go ahead on by, check out the sites, music theory tutorials, full mixing tutorials, all different type beat tutorials, a lot, a lot of sampling tutorials, 50 cents a day, 15 bucks a month, best value tutorial site out there. Um, and real quick um so the topic of this video is going to be how i sample in studio one i don't do a lot of sampling videos on youtube um uh, because copyright and all that other stuff but um you know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna set one up today and um the way that i sample is you know i'm not i'm, I'm not a i'm not an instrumentalist i don't play instruments i don't i i, I don't really um it's it's not my default my default is is to write in the piano roll so that's kind of how i approach sampling too um you know i'll find a i'll find a, a a loop that i like like something like this And then knowing that, knowing that you know, for you know, the purposes of modern songs and arrangements, um, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have some different sections to kind of, to kind of, um, to kind of take away from the monotony of this looping over and over again. Um, so, what I'll do to create to create sections like that with the changes is I, I'll view. You know, like mentally and creatively is I'll view this sample kind of like uh, kind of like the piano roll you know you've got in the arrange window when you set your um when you set your uh your tracks up to be able to see where is it um colorize tracks controls where is where is that function I, I want to show it to you guys because I know I'm gonna get uh, a ton of comments about it um Cause there, cause there is a setting in here where you can't, um, where you can't see the, uh, you can't see the, the lines through, um, through the track and, um, without that, 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 that really doesn't work. But anyway, um, so being able to see, being able to see the beat, um, you know, denominations through the track is everything. And the way that I kind of work is I'll find, um, you know, I'll just hear something like here. Uh, uh, so like, so like hearing that in my head, I'll go ahead and just cut this. I'll know that, you know, on this four beat, I want to add a chop and then I'll just scoot this back here, copy and paste. I'm holding down alt while I'm clicking and dragging. So now you All right, so I'll like that, and then you know maybe for the second part I wanna I wanna do like a different variation. So I'll go ahead and just do this and see the the reason why I work like this is I've been I've been messing with the piano roll for so long that like when I hear music I think of the piano roll. You know I I'm, I, I can see the notes where they're laying out on the grid. Um, I know everybody doesn't work like that, but for you guys that do, you know this can be helpful. Just we just turn this guy off. And then maybe, you know, I'll go and put a chop here. Just to kinda just to kind of switch up the overall vibe. I'll take this 
and drop this here, right? Let's give me this. And then from there, you know, you can go ahead and let's wait till my hard drive creeps back up. Bro, do never get, never get one of those green drives, dude. They're so slow. I need to, I need to just stop fucking playing with myself and get an SSD for this because it's so annoying. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I go about it. Um, you know, I'll show you how I do, I'll do one from scratch. That was, that was an idea I already had. Let's see just i'll just go and just go to a you know just go to a random library to find something all right so like this could work right And the first thing I want to do is find a loop. Finding a loop and getting things in tempo makes everything easier. Like if I if if it's taking me a long time to to find something, I just don't even mess with it. All right, that that might be cool. Let's see that four bar loop and all I'm doing is holding alt at the bottom to to run the time stretch yeah all right so then for this to make another section I might just so I have I have this section I'll keep it and set it to the side And then here I might run a double chop here. So it's like, and then run this same thing right here. Switch up this chop and then make it kind of like a double deal on the turnaround. And then you see, I'll go ahead and grab these. Let's see. <laughs> Just shorten this guy up. I've got that. I've got that MP swing, C swing on it right now. That's why it's not lining up exactly to the grid, which is cool. I like that. Double up, 
should happen here. And then from there, you know, you, you find something that you like, and then from there you can go ahead and, you know, transpose it to something. And then go ahead and create your crossfades. Make sure you're not getting any, any pops. And then once you got, you know, once you got the pops and clicks out, just go ahead and bounce it down. Whoops, bounce it all down. That way you're not getting any, um, have the computer taking resources from your time stretch. Real easy, man. Yeah, so that's how that is my that is my personal method as somebody who is, you know, just just used to used to using the piano roll, not didn't really um, start as a producer chopping a lot. I don't have like a, uh, a strong uh, background with, you know, um, playing chops and things like that. But I can see things on the piano roll. So you guys that are having, um, you know, wanting to maybe transition or dabble into sampling and it's just not making sense and lining up for you, you know, because you're used to this linear layout and, and, and working like this, don't be afraid. You know, you don't need plugins to sample. You could just chop spread it out on the arrange window and that's it man so this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com don't forget to stop by studio one tutorials say what's up keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one